Did well, you get... let's see what we got here. Uh, Yeah. We don't know. Don't know who it's from. It was just in a box. In a big box. <laughs> Okay. It's got batteries. <laughs> oh, dig it. It's a weed eater. I'm assuming that goes like that. Well, that's a pretty short weed eater. Oh, maybe it goes the other way. Well, I have to figure it out, I guess. Read the directions, but that's what it looks like in the weed eater. Yep. And here's the base for the wheels. Oh, yeah. Look at this, y'all. This one got blades. <laughs> this is great for cutting down that stuff out there. Right here's a handle. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So something tells me this thing telescopics, telescopes, or something. No, maybe not. I'll just pull the book out and show you what it is. How about that? There we go. Very cool. Well, we don't know who you are, but thank you so much. <laughs> this is bloody awesome. That'll help with cutting down a lot of that that thicker stuff rolling around out there. Oh yeah. With a blade on it like that. And then uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so we know who this came from, and again, thank you so much. Uh, okay. Day long leg. Day long leg. Go away, dude. Oh, dig it. It's actually a forestry helmet. So it's not just a safety helmet, but it's a forestry helmet. So you can get all the protection you need when you're running the chainsaw or when you're dodging bushes like Mary did, or trees like Mary did. <laughs> What are you saying? I need protection. <laughs> you did that day. <laughs> well, that day I did. So this one's actually got a shield and a screen. That's very cool. And headphones. Ear protection. I call them headphones. <laughs> We're about to find out, will it fit over the hair? Oh, they don't. They attach to the... Mm-hmm. That's very cool, look at that.
I'm assuming it goes like that somehow. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure I get the right side the right side. Or I guess that doesn't matter. Nope. We don't need no stinking instructions. <laughs> yeah, we do, bird. Okay. So, here's the trick to it. Okay, so you gotta be able to spin them down like that. So, it does go, well, it goes like that. Or does it go up through there? Yeah, it goes up through there. Like that. See again, gotta be smarter than the toys I'm playing with. Get it in the hole. There we go. Now I can look like a professional forestry guy. <laughs> That's kind of weird. It's up off your head. I know. That doesn't help any. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> that can't work like that. Told you, we don't need no stinking instructions. <laughs> <laughs> there must be some big headed lumberjacks, boy. <laughs> look. He stopped. Oh, look, I Mickey have. Mickey Mouse. A, a Mickey Mouse is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Even kind of keeps the helmet on. Don't talk because I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> well, shoot, if we could just put microphones in those, those would be pretty cool for jamming. You could listen to music because you can't hear anything else when you're out there, that's for sure. But very cool. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. So I better, I guess I better save the instructions because evidently I can't get the earmuff parts on. So I better save the instructions for the rest of it, huh? <laughs> okay. What do you got down there? Uh, this looks like a really, really cool tool. <laughs> and a Squarvna 455 Rancher. Husqvarna, excuse me. That is definitely Husqvarna. a game changer. Yes. That door just came open. <clears throat> this right here, y'all. This is going to make clearing that thing so much easier. But this is, I'm going to tell you now, this is a big boy saw. Alright, so 
so we're gonna have to do this. Oh yeah. That Look is a big at boy that saw. Big boy. That dog got some weight to it now. That's one of them saws right there. You run that for a day, you're gonna build up them arm muscles for sure. Nice. Very sweet, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Wow. All the help we can get, right Mary? Uh, yes sir. Man, that's yeah. That's gonna make clearing a lot of that stuff, especially some of them bigger trees around the back of the barn. Um, All right. What is that one? What's that? That one. In here? Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we got the R family again, once again, being the amazing people they are. They sent us a bunch of these, a couple of these fold out saws, which are really good for getting that little stuff off that you just really don't want to be messing with a chainsaw or you ain't got time to get a chainsaw on. Man, you can just fold one of these crack these bad boys out and just go to town real quick. Now that's gonna help a bunch. And we got chains and bar oil. Um, and this came from, let's see. Um, John Bieber. So we got chains and bar oil. So we're not sure what the chains and bar oil fit, but I guess we will find out soon enough. <laughs> They're 20 inch like this saw, so but we know where this saw come from. So I guess we'll find out what this is for, <laughs> or if it fits this. And then also, Um, I'm not sure who this one came from. That one's from the R family. From the R family again? Okay. Oh, sweet. Some more motion lights. Solar motion lights. That's, oh yes. And it looks like there's two of them in this box. Wow. See that? Those are going to be pretty cool for the barn and for the shop over oh, there. Yes. We'll light up our inside area so we'll be able to uh -uh. see a lot better. <laughs> and yeah, we have uh, a few more boxes, but they're not right in front of us right at the moment. Plus, uh, another one of you awesome subscribers, and y'all know who you are, Brian and Hilda. We love y'all so much. Thank you so much for all the great goodies that the flag y'all donated for the property over there. Um, you know, we hung that up right away. That's yep. the very first started trees we started cutting in that live. We hung that bad boy up right away. Mm-hmm. And did we get anything else? Um, look what else we got, y'all. They finally came in. So I already know that there's one and we will be sending that out. So David Moffat, you did an awesome job Those above and beyond. The solar Eclipse t-shirts. And they're only going for this month. Or until the supplies run exactly, out. Exactly, until the supplies but, run out. But these are what the gray ones are gonna look like, y'all, so yep. just so you know. So yeah. Very cool. This is a uh, this is shorty. So she's gonna wear it to school tomorrow, and show it off. But uh, yeah, those are for, those are uh, we're selling those for twenty five dollars. So if anybody wants one, because if you were in the live today, and we apologize today if the live wasn't all that great. I mean, we did the best we could with we were recording that on the phone, and uh, you know, and we muted it because just in case some words got thrown around or whatever like that, you know, people are partying and whatever like that. <laughs> Puppies are trying to come out here, y'all. Go. Go. <laughs> come on in the house, guys. Come on. We'll bring you out in just a second. 
Good girls. So anyway, see them dogs, our dogs are so awesome, man. They listen so well. <laughs> they just want to come out. The door's wide open, but they're just staying right there at the door, except for the two, the, the two puppies. They, they just wanted to stick their nose out here and see what's going on. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much. Uh, like I said, we apologize if we, if we did that for the live or didn't come out great. We were doing the best with what we had. And we really tried <laughs> to bring you along on that journey. Um, we're going to see if uh, any of the other family got some better footage or anything like that. But, you know, it is what it is. So we were trying. But it was a very, very cool experience today. Yes, it was. It was awesome. Yeah, being able to see that, like, in totality for the first time and watching how the how the the light around you pretty much changed a different almost it was almost like a different color like as i don't even know how to explain it really you can't explain it um but very cool and we had a great time over there david cooked up a lot of food a lot of great people over there so we want to thank everybody for you know welcoming us into your world up here um we couldn't ask for better uh so <clears throat> Y'all, don't be afraid to go chase your dreams because uh, I promise you, it can happen. Look at us, we're living proof. A year ago, 13 months ago, we'd have never in a million years re uh, even thought about achieving a dream like this. Uh, let alone, you know, we talked about it, but we never thought this would actually could actually happen. And here we are, 13 months later. All right, so a little update on the property, y'all. Um, tomorrow means it's going to be raining and the next day it's going to be raining um i will be calling and seeing about getting our power turned on and seeing about what it's going to take to get some water out there whether we can get water at the road or if there's a a well on the property um we'll find out all that out and uh uh excuse me i took a little sip of coke went down the wrong hole <laughs> and uh i guess we'll let you know there but you know, just so you know, it's an update, and uh, as soon as it stops raining, we're going to be getting back after it. And then we're going to go over there and help Mama, uh, Mountain Home, our Mountain Home, uh, uh, Jen and Wiley. We're going to help them get moved in this weekend. We're probably going to go out there to Oklahoma and help them bring another load back. Because, uh, you know, as you know, they saved our butts and we got our truck up here. And uh, Drew's already over there helping them tonight, and Jeff's over there helping them tonight. So uh, we're going to be over there helping them this weekend. So until then, next time. All right, Marley. Well, she's been waiting for this to, cause we told her that she got some stuff in the mail. So she is one to <laughs> see what she, 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 what she got. So yeah. we're gonna allow her to open the, the box that we got today in the mail. Gold markers, fancy, fancy markers. Yep. All colored for you. Horse coloring books. Oh yeah, open that thing up and check it out. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Aren't those cool? Yes. <laughs> I see another box here. I got this. And there's a bunch of colored pencils. Yep, premium colored pencils, 72 pieces since for your... So you can, Ooh, all these colors! Yep, yeah. very cool, huh? And... Notebook! So that way you can keep a journal of our, of our trip to Arkansas. Or you can just write whatever you want to write into it. Yep. Yeah. I might just draw. There you so go. So what do you think? <laughs> this is amazing! A bunch of art stuff. Yep, just right up your alley, isn't it? And it's, yes. And it, the so, note said it's from the R family. So what do you say? Thank you. What is that saying? Thank you who? Thank you, R family. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Got a cool deal going on today. Well, uh, we have a gorilla cart and i'm sure you've seen over there at david come on and mike at dd5 got themselves a gorilla cart so the gem's got a gorilla cart y'all let's see if i can spin you around here so you can see it better so guess what 
we're gonna put it together today and we're gonna see how it does because uh, we haven't got to try one out yet we've just seen it used but we haven't got to try one out so we're gonna try it out today so I'm gonna bring you along here while I put it together and show you how easy this is and we'll go from there all right and no this is not a paid promotion this is just a gorilla cart and we like it so much we're gonna just film it <laughs> so I'll see y'all in just a short Alright y'all, well, just so you know, <laughs> this thing is pretty self-explanatory. Um, as you can see, there's really not much to putting this together. Um, I am going to show you, make sure that we don't need washers on these, because I'm pretty sure we need washers on these, but on these wheels. And, yep, it does need a washer on the wheel. So, we have these right here handy. These are four little car keys go along with it. Four little fancy washers. But look at this, y'all. There's there's not hardly any bolts to this at all. So this is super easy to put together. Put a washer on there. Put a cotter pin in there. Well, these are a little stronger, so. Give me a second. Let me grab my really cool tools over here. Uh. You know, most cotter pins, you can just grab them with your fingers and pull them back. Uh, these are pretty stout, so ain't gonna happen but that's pretty much all there is to that pull your little caps off oops put your washer on there another little carter key carter pin whatever you want to call them just bend her up a little bit, she ain't coming out of there. <coughs> One axle. And make sure you put your valve stems on the outside or or if you want them on the inside in case you don't wanna you worry about hitting something with them. You never know. But yeah, these you can pin, pin back with your fingers. Because I just pushed that one back with my fingers. There's another one. Put back with the fingers. Okay. So now I need some stinking instructions, man. <laughs> uh, all right, that's pretty simple. Got my handy dandy handle right here. Look at that. Oh, snazzy, pretty. I like it. So, I was looking at these and uh, and seeing how they dump and everything. And you know, and I have built, I have built like uh, custom stuff for folks in the past, where you know they had a heavy door to lift up over their pool pumps and stuff like that down in Florida. Uh, use them same cylinders that they have on 
on the like your hatchbacks and your hood so I thought you know what looking at this I'll bet I could put a couple of them cylinders on here and to help dump this thing and you know those little cylinders are actually pretty cheap you go to Amazon and they're like $40 for a pair of them a couple pieces of scrap steel and we're in there oh look we got a free zip tie all right so it's got a, a piece that's got to go on right up here and I believe that's what these three holes are for right there so figure out what bolts they want put in these and uh, that looks like these little short dogs right here it says Oh, number one. Oh, it's got this big old pivot piece right here, so that one will go in through there. Don't look too hard at all, y'all. Hardest part is getting the bolts out of the plastic. <laughs> okay, so what does that say there? Step one. Oh, it says I gotta mount the back first. So that'll be the long ones and the short ones. Okay, that's step one. So that's gonna be back here. Forward. The axle. So this ought to be the fun part right here, y'all. What size does it go on? Okay, so that goes to the back. Axle to the back. So that goes like that. this up on here hopefully I don't knock the camera over for you that basically sits like that pretty simple okay looks like an extra set of hands may be required for some of this but we're gonna find out in just a second says we got three long bolts and three short bolts for this so we just got to figure out which ones are which okay so I see the long ones right there go to the back so we'll stick one in there right off the bat comes with all nylon lock nuts so that's a that's a good advantage basically you just screw them down there so the, the nylon part catches that just makes your life a little bit easier and they've already got them pre-assembled so you don't even have to guess which way the washers go which washer goes in what hole, you know? Pretty simple. I like it. I like it a lot. So where are you at so far? Huh? Well, right now we're putting on the release part. For the dump this is their patented 
release system for dumping. And uh, a little tip for these guys, if, if you've got a ratchet wrench to put these bolts on, um, this will make it handier. Because then you don't even need the screwdriver on the other end. Because once you get that bolt a little warm, that nylon heats up and you can hold it with your fingers. See like here, a little ratchet wrench. And I can just hold it with my fingers once I get her started. Or figures the wrench you're gonna mess up on me now. I think it's because it's at an angle. Or it just got messed up on me. It did get some rain on it the other night. That's all right. But you, you know, if you can just keep it going, as you can see there, that uh, that nylon warms up, and then you can just hold it with your finger. I do have the flathead screw over my hand, but I'm not having to use it. upside down you know what I'm talking about over here <laughs> I used to have a New York friend man I used to love that guy all the time cracking me up like that da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay. Go ahead. Super easy, y'all. Even got an adjustable handle. Look at this. You can adjust the handle for uh, different lengths if you need it longer or what have you. And you just set that bad puppy in there like that. Oops. Is one missing the washer? Maybe not. Maybe it's just supposed to be like that. Seems to me like you'd have a washer on that side. But it does look like the washer goes on this side. Ah. Look at that big boy. Pull the handle. Don't. And look at that, the back axle actually pivots in so it makes it easier to dump. So I'll bet with a couple of them little cylinders uh, put on here, I'll bet that thing would dump super sweet. And it's even got these little, little slots here so you can put, uh, looks like probably a 1x4 or a custom board on there and be able to stack it up. And slots right in here so you can put a board in here to keep stuff separated. Well, I'd have to say that was 20 minutes. <laughs> All total from the time I open up the box to the time I get done chatting with y'all. So, well, Gorilla Cart, uh, if you're listening, um, it wouldn't hurt our feelings to, to do another one because we love this thing. <laughs> hint, hint. Until next time, y'all, we love you. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And we're going to keep sharing a whole bunch more cool stuff because there's a bunch more coming up. All right, we'll see you soon. That figures. Yeah, she needs a little lube.
So one of these here, the washer fell off on me as I was trying to put it on because I found it. <clears throat> Let's mm. see if that one's... It's the last one. It's the last one over there? Yep. So I'll be doing that one here and put the washer on there. Oh, oh flip the wrench over, Goopy. You'll go wrong way. Yeah, it would be better with a socket, but again, that's going back to, I don't know where my sockets are. I have that screwdriver over there. This one here didn't want to grab. I played with it too long. You say you hold steel. Normally I'd have a drill with a socket on this and just be done with it already. But You know, when you're in transition like we are, because, you know, we still are kind of in transition. So when you're in transition, you know, it just makes it hard to keep up with all your stuff everywhere. So this one here, huh? I might need you to, I might need you to hold this one for me. I don't know yet. And these are set up on the back side for Phillips and and uh, flathead. So it is advised uh, it is advised to use the the big Phillips on it. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to hold it in place when you're trying to trying to bolt these down. So that part's done. Now we got these two great big bolts here. And look, the bolts are even marked. Step one, step two, step three. You don't have to figure out what bolts go where. Again, we don't need no thinking instructions, man. <laughs> Okay, so this has got a pin on here, back here. So I'm assuming that this goes like this. Sit, boo boo. I knew my head was good for something. See, how does it say? Does it want the washer on the inside? Oh no, it says to put that part on first. No, it doesn't. It says put this part on first. I was right all along. Okay, so not telling me how the washer goes on there. So here's what I gotta do. It says I have to flip it over. Note to self, flip over before continuing. Oh. 
right there just like that so it's pretty self-explanatory there if you just look at it you can tell that the washer goes on the inside So I'll have to get some a bigger wrench for that side. But y'all give her two thumbs up. She's been she's doing an awesome job. The GoPro overheated and she's out here, man, being the dedicated professional that she is. She got the camera rolling on the phone. So make sure we get this done right. All right, so now we got that part. Oops. I'll be able to go and find tools pretty easy, but right now I can't find hardly anything real easy because all my toolboxes are in my big trailer. And of course I can't move my big trailer around because it ain't close. And even if it was real close, I still can't move it around. And no sense bringing it here when we're gonna be taking it to the property soon. So, but yeah, I'm just holding these with my finger, y'all, on the back side. Like I said, once you get that nylon warmed up a little bit, it'll tighten right down for you. There it goes. Yep. Time to get a little lube on there. That's the hardest one right there. That's the only part you probably need two people on. Because if you got short arms, short joke, ah! <laughs> you got short arms, yeah. That might be a little challenging to get that one. 